How's it going guys, Yomita here back with another video and my oh my have we got some tweaks to show today. Also guys let me know if you'd like to see themes for jailbreak, I'm keen on doing that so let me know in the comments. But yeah let's get right into the tweaks today, they're mainly aesthetic tweaks but then as you can see this front page they all look really good, at least they all, they all add like this nice aesthetic to your already jailbroken phone so you can show your friends and just awe in the beauty of your iOS device. So let's get right into it. So we'll start off from the lock screen and right on top of the lock screen you can see there's a new time and there's a date and there's a day. So that's pretty cool. This is called Simple LS iOS, Simple Lock Screen iOS and it's a really cool minimalistic look to your lock screen especially when you don't have any notifications but we're going to have to get to these notifications because the notifications is by a tweak called IntelliX and IntelliX is pretty cool you, it basically groups your notifications into collections so kind of like what Android does and Apple still hasn't caught on to but yeah with jailbreak you can get this it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Apple will implement it someday. I mean, Apple might be always late, but they always end up doing things quite well. But yeah, this is IntelliX and it groups your notifications. And just before we head into the actual phone, there's another one called Jumper and Jumper is pretty cool. So I've got a tweak which I'll let you know later, which allows you basically have these two. Or if you have Fluidity, Fluidity already gives you these like 3D touch buttons. Not exactly 3D touch considering this is an SE, but yeah, like the iPhone 10. And you can customize those buttons with jumper. So I have Spotify here and the redundant camera icon because you can always swipe right to go into the camera. So you can always change that because it really has no like point there. But yeah, so for Spotify, you just want to long press did I do that right? Long press on the Spotify icon and enter your touch ID and it takes you right into Spotify. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just head out of Spotify and head back to the home screen. And if you take a look at the top left corner of the screen, we've got a tweak called Notifier Dot. And Notifier Dot basically just tells you what apps you've got notifications for. You can increase the size of this and you can actually make it dots. So you can assign them to like individual apps that you want to look at notifications for. But yeah, I've got the actual app icon. So there's YouTube there, there's Clash Royale there. They're quite tiny. You can increase the size just by a bit, but not too much. And you can change the position as well. But this is my preferred position and I quite like it. You can just like, I don't know, it just gives you this nice aesthetic and you can always tell that you have notifications for those apps right there on the top. And it stays, it's basically everywhere in the operating system. So your apps that show your status bar, it remains there. So that's pretty cool. Now the next trick is called Weather Vane. And Weather Vane, kind of like Android again. I'm not sure where this is going, but yeah. It gives you like quick access to like Wi-Fi settings right from your control center. So this is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings, but that's, that's the only ones it gives you control access to rather but yeah they're pretty handy especially if you have like a bunch of wireless networks you always connect to you can just hold on it and you can connect to the wi-fi network right from there so that's pretty cool the next trick is ios blocks and you might have been wanting to know what trick this is for a while but yeah there you go the beautiful ios blocks they are widgets that basically come out of the app icon itself is pretty cool. Let me just demonstrate that. It's quite tricky to get sometimes, but yeah. And it basically goes back to the Instagram icon. And yeah, this is quite buggy, so don't expect too much from it. It took me a while to actually set this up the right way I wanted to, but when you do set it up, it, it becomes great. It's, it's really great. So to expand it again, you just, put two fingers on it and expand it so just like that I've got the clock over there I've got music over here I've got city over here and I've got Instagram over here so 
heading into Instagram, you can always, you get notifications when you get notifications on your phone and they just show up right there and you can scroll through them just like I can scroll through the one for Cydia. It's pretty cool. And like this, you can also play music right from this button here, though it's quite tricky to click on it. Yeah, I just got it. So I'll just, I'll just pause that. This is actually Spotify, but Spotify actually goes into this music nonetheless and you also get the app icon as usual at the bottom left corner and you can click on it you can also disable this if you want to disable this as well and onto the next tweak this is flat safari url and it basically removes the extra like different layers that you used to have here so before you'd have like a round bar going around here surrounding this search or enter website name but now it just looks flat it looks pretty neat so like I said aesthetics and aesthetics is what we want with jailbreak yeah so that's cool and while we were in the control center I forgot to mention easy CC and what easy CC does is gives you access to add more buttons to your on um, control center so right now I've got YouTube and I've got Spotify and there's a lot more that you can add to it I'll just go through it quite quickly now so it's in the regular control center um, customized controls over here and you will find out that you have a lot more applications to choose from and they always have the easy in front of it so EZ to let you know that it's from easy but nonetheless it actually has a decent icon so I've got YouTube here and it's pretty cool you click on it and you head right into the app that you want that you're meaning to go into so the next tweak now is i8 corners and i didn't notice this myself but apparently the iphone 8 has rounded corners i'd have to go and check that but yeah you get rounded corners and that was the name of the previous tweak i had on ios 10 it was called rounded corners but this is called eye corners nonetheless you can round off the corners of your screen which is pretty cool and the next trick is spotify black and spotify black over here it gives you true drop mode for your spotify which is pretty cool especially like i keep saying if you're on the iphone 10 you will get you definitely get an improvement in battery life from using true blocks rather than what spotify had there before which was kind of like gray so you're still turning on pixels so this way you save battery and by the way there's also spotify ui enabler on this so it gives you like driving mode and some other things which is pretty cool and onto the next tweak this is called color switcher and give me a moment here i disabled color switcher so i'm just going to turn it back on so after a quick respring, we're back in and now to show you color switcher. So color switcher basically gives you this like alpha overlay over whatever you have in the background. So right now I have it set on purple and you can easily change this in the settings. So any color you want at all uses lip picker. And yeah, so this is exactly why I disabled it because of, I'm guessing because of the um, iPhone 10 gestures it does this thing yeah it's pretty much because of that it does this thing where the overlay remains for a while before it actually goes so that's why i don't particularly like it i'm guessing if you're not using the um, iphone 10 gestures it shouldn't bother you that much because pressing my home button you can barely see it so that way it works fine but with the gestures there's always like a delay before before things go away so or maybe maybe it's not there anymore i guess not Anyway, try it if you like it, go ahead and get it. And onto the next trick, and no, I won't talk about this for too long because I made a dedicated video for this. Should appear in the iCards up there. This is Little X and you get the iPhone 10 gestures, but it's, it's a full on improvement from Fluidity. It does everything better than Fluidity and it's, it's a lot more stable. So yeah, that's Little X. Now this next week is pretty cool and you would find a lot of use for it or lack thereof in Cydia and just heading over to Cydia I'll just I don't know if you caught that there but yeah going super sign is the new loading logo for Cydia and I think it's pretty cool 
look at that over there super saiyan i'm a fan of dragon ball but yeah that's pretty cool you can customize the text to anything you want for that loading time i'm not sure if it applies to other apps but for cydia it does change and that's pretty cool now the next trick is tap tap utils and simply you tap tap on your status bar and you can do certain functions i've been unable to get it to work for some reason it says pick an option and i have already done that in the preference panes but i'll just show you what the app what the tweak has um perspectives for so you can use it to wipe your ui cache respring reboot go into safe mode or shut down your device by just tapping on your status bar so if that's something you're keen on i'm pretty sure if you try you might get this to work with no hassle at all but yeah check that out that's pretty cool i thought it would be handy for like respring so just double tapping on the top of your screen will help you respring easy quick and life moves on and now if you caught on from my last video you will notice that we now do something on these jailbreak wednesdays and these are called bonus tweaks and these bonus tweaks they do wonders for you so have you ever been scrolling on instagram and then realized you mistakenly liked your crush's um instagram pic from like what one year ago or like maybe maybe not maybe not one year ago but maybe like a week ago because that's socially unacceptable in our age and time but yeah, this tweak helps you avoid situations like that. This is called Confirm Insta Like. And Confirm Insta Like basically just prevents you from liking any Instagram post or at least making you confirm that you want to like an Instagram post that has been uploaded or posted for more than three days. So you don't go into the mess of liking someone's picture that happened a year ago, like I said before. Well, yeah that's it for this video if you like this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe as well and stay tuned for more jailbreak wednesdays tweaks like this are coming your way every wednesday jailbreak wednesday anyway guys yom tosh here signing up peace